This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Well, welcome everyone to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. It's a new year, it's 2020, and we have some great games lined up for you. In tonight's show, you're going to see Lima Central Catholic take on Crestview, and then later on, it will be St. Mary's facing off against Delphus St. John's. All right, we're gonna introduce you to our players joining us now from Crestview. We have Cameron Kearns, Colby Swagger, Vincent Adam, and Dylan Barraclo. And Crestview is coached by Sandy Grooms. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Lima Central Catholic. Joining us is Quentin Potempa, Kaylee Rigg, Oli Bruno, and Ben Sikoski. And LCC is coached by Nancy Sikoski. Welcome to all of you too. All right, we have this first round, 10 questions for all of you. We're 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready and make sure when you answer, as uncomfortable as it may be, you need to speak up with your answers and make them as complete as possible as well, okay? All right, so here we go. Question number one, we're 10 points. In which state is Franklin Roosevelt's Presidential Library located at Hyde Park? Yes, Crestview. New York. New York is correct. Which term designates the broad, treeless plains of the Arctic regions, having permanently... Yes, Crestview. Tundra. Tundra is correct. Moving on now to question number three. Name the first four books of the New Testament. Yes, Crestview. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That is correct. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All right, moving on now. Number four in our first round of this game. Which state has the nickname Great Lakes State? Yes, Crestview. Michigan. Michigan is the answer. The rods and cones of the retina change light into electrical signals for our brain. What takes these signals to the brain? Yes, that would be LCC. Optic nerve. Optic nerve is correct. Moving on now to question number six. The island of Crete in the Mediterranean Sea is located off the southern peninsula of which European country? Yes, Crestview. Greece. Greece is correct. Within each strand of DNA are sets of instructions called what? Yes, Lima Central Catholic. Genetic code. The genetic code. We will accept that, that is correct. All right, question number eight. Which term derived from the Latin word for alone identifies a musical performance by one? Yes, Crestview. Solo. Solo is correct. Okay, you have two questions remaining in this first round. Give the Spanish phrase for see you tomorrow. Crestview. Adios. Adios is incorrect. Lima Central Catholic, you want to try? Yes. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana is the answer there. And your final question in this first round. What are the three branches of U.S. government? Crestview. The executive, the legislative, and the judiciary. That is correct, the legislative, executive, and judicial. All right, we've come to the end of our first round here in competition between Lima Central Catholic and Crestview. Here is our score. LCC, you have 30 points, Crestview with 70. We'll be back with rounds two and three after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal.
right, our first game of tonight's show is between Crestview and Lima Central Catholic. Here's our score right now. Crestview with 70 points, LCC with 30. That means Crestview, you're going to lead this second round with your five questions with five points apiece. Please still buzz in with your answers, okay? Identify the only U.S. state whose two-letter postal abbreviation is a preposition. Yes. Maine. Maine is incorrect. It's Indiana with I-N oh. or N. All right. Question two. What is the chemical makeup of sulfuric acid? Yes. H2SO4. That is the correct answer, H2SO4. All right, number three. Which amendment to the U.S. Con Constitution abolished slavery? Yes. 13th. 13th is correct. Moving on now to question number four. Name the mythological titan who was punished by having to support the sky on his shoulders. Yes, Crestview. Atlas. Atlas is the answer there. And your final question in the second round. Which book of the Bible contains the following line? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow, yes, that would be Crestview. Psalms. Psalm is correct. All right, very good. Moving over to LCC now. Is everybody ready here? Okay, make sure you buzz in with your answer. Which American woman is known as the mother of the Red Cross? LCC? Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale is incorrect. It's Clara Barton. All right, number two. Which state called the Golden State is the home of the Sierra Madre? Yes. California. California is correct. Which acute infectious communicable di childhood disease is also known as rubiola? Yes, Lima Central Catholic. Thrush. Thrush is incorrect. It is measles. All right, two questions remaining in the second round. What kind of animal is born to human parents in E.B. White's Stuart Little? Yes, LCC. A mouse. Mouse is the answer. And here's your final question in the second round. In which European capital did Nazi occupation crumble in 1944 and Charles de Gaulle proclaimed victory? Yes, LCC. Paris. Paris is the answer. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our second round now. Here's the score. LCC, you have 45 points, Crestview with 90. Now this last round, 10 questions again, were 10 points apiece, and they are all up for grabs. Here you go, number one. Give the Spanish phrase for what will be, will be. Time's up, teams. The answer is que sera, sera. All right, number two. What is geographically and symbolically the center of American capitalism? Yes, that would be Lima Central Catholic. The World Trade Center. That is incorrect. So, Crestview, you've got a chance. Wall Street. Wall Street is what we're looking for. All right, moving on now. Number three in your final round. In which story does the Dormouse fall asleep at the Mad Hatter's tea party? Yes, Crestview. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland is correct. All right, number four. Which mineral found in such foods as milk, cheese, and dark, yes, that would be Lima Central Catholic. Calcium. Calcium is correct. Question number five. Manila is capital to which, yes, Crestview. The Philippines. Philippines is the answer there. All right, number six. What is the capital of Arizona? Yes, Crestview. Phoenix. Phoenix, correct. Give the month, date, and year Pearl Harbor was attacked. Yes, Lima Central Catholic. December 7th, 1941. You are correct. December 7th of 1941. All right, three questions remaining in your last round. Which word completes the following threesome? Lock. Stock and, yes, LCC? Barrel. Barrel is correct. 
All right, question nine. What connects muscles to bones? Yes, LCC. Tendon. Tendons is correct. And your final question in your game. Name the disability that means a fear of enclosed spaces. Lima Central Catholic. Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia is the correct answer. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Lima Central Catholic and Crestview. Here is our final score. LCC. 95 points. Crestview, you are the winners with 130. So congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. Lima Central Catholic, thanks so much for joining us again this year. All right, we'll be back with another game after the break, so stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right. Welcome back everyone. We just completed a game between Crestview and Lima Central Catholic and Crestview came out the winner there so they will be moving on to take on the winner of this game. Just about ready to be played here between the Saints, I guess. It'd be Delphi St. John's and St. Mary's. So let's introduce you to Delphi St. John's players. We have Jania Freewalt, Adara Fierst, Curtis Swick, and Noah Hine. And Delta St. John's is coached by Michelle Regal. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to St. Mary's. Playing for St. Mary's is Hunter Clauser, Alex Motter, Gabe Overly, and Luke Schlomer. And St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome to all of you gentlemen. All right, we have 10 questions in this first round. We're 10 points apiece. They are all up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. And when you answer, so important that you speak up as loudly as you can and please be as complete as you can with your answers, okay? We have our judge over there in the corner, Mark Dickman, and he will take any questions that we may have about those answers, okay? Everybody ready to go? Question number one. Name the Virginia-born ninth U.S. president who was the first president to die in office. All right, the buzzer sounded first, so we are not able to accept an answer, but the correct answer is William Henry Harrison. All right, question two in your first round. Identify the Rocky Mountain City with the nickname Mile High City. Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Denver. Denver is correct. Name the second planet from the sun. Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Venus. Venus is correct. Question number four. Who baptized Jesus? Yes, Delphus. John the Baptist. John the Baptist is correct. All right, moving on to number five. Name the Eastern European country whose capital is Budapest. Yes, St. Mary's. Hungary. Hungary is correct. Number six. What word in part names a hoofed animal and designates a person blamed for others' actions? Yes, St. Mary's. Scapegoat. Scapegoat is the answer. Okay, moving on to question seven in this first round. What word designates a ring of light used around the head of a figure? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Halo. Halo is what we're looking for there. Okay, teams, three questions remaining in this first round. Who immediately preceded Ronald Reagan as U.S. President? Yes, St. Mary's. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is the right answer there. Okay, question number nine. Which president said in his first address to Congress, 
To be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving peace. Delphi St. John's? Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt is incorrect. St. Mary's, do you want to give it a shot? Yes. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That is also incorrect. It's George Washington. He said that on January 8th of 1790. Okay, we have one question remaining here in this first round. Name the only U.S. state bordered by only one other state. Yes, St. Mary's. Maine. Maine is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our first round in this game. Here is the score. St. Mary's, you have 70 points. Delphi St. John's with 10. That means, St. Mary's, you're going to lead the second round. You're going to have five questions worth five points apiece, but please ring in with your answers. What word beginning with the letter C is a synonym for modern when used in reference to artists and their works? Yes. Contemporary. Contemporary is the answer. Name the Russian city now called St. Petersburg that was once named for a communist leader. Yes. Stalingrad. That is incorrect. The answer we're looking for is Leningrad. All right. Question three, the second round. Give the term for an economic downturn lasting about two quarters. Yes. Recession. Recession is correct. On the periodic table, what has the atomic symbol of P? Yes. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is correct. And you have one question remaining. In which year did delegates from 12 states approve the U.S. Constitution in Philadelphia? All right, time is up. The answer is 1787. All right, Delphus, it's your turn now. Everybody set over here. And again, remember to buzz in. Which U.S. state is the smallest by land mass? Yes. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is correct. Which U.S. state is the smallest by population? Yes. Wyoming. You are correct. Wyoming is the answer. All right, question three. What part of the cell takes food and makes energy that the rest of the cell can use? Time is up. The answer is mitochondria. All right, two questions remaining in the second round. Which U.S. Constitution amendment protects private homeowners from having the military take over their home to house soldiers? Yes, Delphus? Third. Third is correct. And here's your final question in the second round of your game. Name the tiny glistening drops of moisture condensed upon plants and blades of grass during the night. Yes, Delphus St. John's. Do. Do is correct. All right. Come to the end of our second round. You did well in that round. And here is our score going into the break. Delphi St. John's, you have 30 points. St. Mary's with 85. We'll be back with our final 10 questions of this game right after the break. Stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. We're moving into our third and final round of this game now between St. Mary's and Delphus St. John's. Here's the score. Delphus, you have 30 points. St. Mary's with 85. We have this round again with 10 questions. So we're 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs. Let's get those buzzers ready. Here we go. Question number one. What word means stealing a car from its occupants by force? Yes, Delphus. Grand Theft Auto. 
Grand Theft Auto is incorrect. St. Mary's, you want to try? Yes. Hijack. Hijack is also, it's close, but not correct. It is carjacking that we're looking for. All right, question two. Which late baseball player is known for breaking the color barrier in Major League? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson is correct. How many votes are needed in the 435 member House of Representatives for, yes, that would be St. Mary's? 273. That is incorrect. Delphi St. John's, would you like me to complete the question? How many votes are needed in the 435 member House of Representatives for the approval of a bill? Okay, time is up. The answer is 218. All right, moving on now. Question four in this final round. What word beginning with the letter D designates a family that holds on to political power for several generations? Yes, Delphus. Dynasty. Dynasty is correct. Which three words begin the preamble to the Constitution? Yes. We, we the people. We the people is correct, Delphus. All right, question number six. Which president launched the New Deal program to pull the U.S. out of the Great Depression? St. Mary's. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. You are correct, Franklin Roosevelt. Question seven in the final round. Which Italian city became famous as the birthplace of the Renaissance? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Florence? Florence is correct. Identify either the Greek or Roman god of commerce, science, and travelers. Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Mercury or Hermes? That is correct, Mercury or Hermes. Two questions remain in your game. Name the two chambers of Congress that comprise the legislative branch. Yes, St. Mary's. The Senate and the House of Representatives. That is very good. The Senate and House of Representatives. And your final question of the game. In which state is its capital one of the twin cities? St. Mary's. Minnesota. Minnesota is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Delphi St. John's and St. Mary's. Here's our final score. Delphi St. John's 50 points, St. Mary's 145. So congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Delphi, we wanna thank you for joining us this year. And we wanna thank you for playing along at home. We'll see you back here next week. Have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.